If you hate the new look of Internet Explorer, don't worry because there's a lot of built-in toolbars to make the browser look and act more like the previous editions. To access some of the built-in toolbars, just right-click anywhere on the top bar. These top four bars are the built-in toolbars that let us customize the look and the feel of the browser. Let's take a look at the menu bar. To add it to the browser, just click on it once. This toolbar gives us the File, Edit, View, Favorites, Tools, and Help menu. It also gives us quick access to almost all of the features that Internet Explorer has to offer. I will let you play around with this toolbar to see if you like it or not. If you want to remove the toolbar, just go up to the top bar again and right click. Then click the menu bar again to get rid of it. I'm going to go back to the tools menu and add the favorites bar onto the browser. This toolbar is one that you will probably want to keep. It gives us quick access to your most used favorites so that you don't have to open up your favorites menu every time you want to go to one of your favorite sites. I'm going to add the favorites bar onto the browser. To add a website to the favorites bar, all I have to do is click this icon on the left side of the bar. When I did that, the site was added. Now I'm going to right click on it and go down to rename on the list. I'm going to shorten the name to just Microsoft so that it doesn't take up so much room on the bar. If I want to remove one of the items, just right click on it and go down to delete. I'm going to remove the favorites bar so that we can get a better look at the next toolbar. Let's now take a look at the command bar. This is what got condensed by the icons on the right. If you were more comfortable with that, then you can add it back onto the browser. The command bar is highly customizable, and to customize it, just right click anywhere on the toolbar, go down to Customize, and then to Add or Remove Commands. In here is a list of all of the buttons that we can add to the bar. Just click on the one that you want, and then click Add. When you are done, click Close. The last built-in toolbar that I would like to show you is the status bar. The status bar gives us quick access to the zoom settings on the right. To zoom in, click on it a few times, or click the small arrow to the right and select the amount that you would like. It also tells us where we are going to be sent when we click on a link on a web page. For example, when I hover over all the different links on the web page, you can see the address that we would be sent to. The last toolbar that I would like to talk to you about are third-party toolbars. For example, I just installed the Google toolbar onto my browser. Most of the time, I don't recommend using third-party toolbars because the browser has most of the same features built in. To remove these toolbars, you can click on the small X to the left of each toolbar. I recommend fully uninstalling them from your computer if you're not going to use them. To do that, just go to Uninstall a Program in the Control Panel. In our next video, we will take a look at how to manage our favorites and to view the search history on the browser.